gathering dust. It was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is, this is huge. And so uh, from there, it went uh, out to be displayed at the Pro Pro Football Hall of Fame in their rotunda, which is a round room and, and structure like a timeline. So the very first exhibit in the rotunda now holds that uh, one of those trophies. So that, that's a, <laughs> a big reward to the, the hero's journey as, as uh, the mythologist Joseph Campbell once said. There's yeah. always a, a reward. Okay. Enjoy Super Bowl 58. We look forward to connecting again here in 2024. Thank you. Thanks so much. You bet. Stick around. Much more coming your way. Sports Map Radio Network, the Big E Sports Show. We will be right back after this quick break. I'm Chelsea, and a little thing I like about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Deluxe Sandwich is I think it's just a perfect combination of ingredients. The pepper jack cheese and that spiciness of the sandwich. It's the right type of spice and the right amount of spice. It's crunchy on the outside, but then really tender on the inside. And then, obviously, the pickles on the bottom are iconic. There are too many things I like about it. I don't know if I can finish the thought. Bring on the spice and order the Chick-fil-A Spicy Deluxe Sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real guests paid for their testimonial. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Wake up call. I have to say there's something about Christian McCaffrey's story that is pretty funny. Like he's being completely wasted in Carolina. And then he gets traded to a team that was already stacked. And now he's back in the Super Bowl. It was like he was never on the Carolina Panthers. You know what it is? It's becoming a Mandela effect. That's right. Like, do you remember when he was on the Panthers? No. No, I do not. What are you talking about? Wake up call with Tony D and Ron Culver. Weekdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. Wake up call. There is a Missouri couple, Tony, that recently celebrated. You ready for this? Their 80th wedding anniversary. Oh, wow. 80 years of marriage needs to be highlighted. Are they saying things like, you know, the secret to 80 years of marriage is they uh, have it. lots of bourbon and sex? Nope, because that would be fantastic. Or, you know, when you hear somebody like, how did you live to be 110? Oh, I ate cheeseburgers every day and drank a lot of booze. Bertha gave her secret to a successful marriage, which is... Never go to bed angry. Yeah, well, that is kind of true. I wish it was uh, bourbon and sex. That would be fantastic. Wouldn't it be? I mean, honey, yeah, I know, how many men would take that article and go, hey, 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 you want to live to be 100? <laughs> and wanna, be married wanna... to this guy for 80 years? Look at this couple. They look what their secret is. Wink, wink. Wake up call with Tony D and Ron Culver. Weekdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. The diehards. There's a lot that think they're the king, you know what. And those shows out there are awful. Yeah. But I've also been uh, very good at grooming co hosts to be like really uh, national spectacular talents. And then I, again, I, I sit here in my basement broadcasting live. <laughs> this I, is funner. I suck. This is funner. 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 That's a, is that a word? Funner? <laughs> you don't even drink. Uh, no. Not, <laughs> no. The diehards. Weeknights from 8 to 10 Eastern on the Sports Map Radio Network. The diehards. I'm, I'm a monkey running around. It, it, it's tough. They can't control me. You know what I mean? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot as it is, so it's hard enough to control anyway. When I'm waiting to come on as a guest, I can hear you. You can hear everything. I we're can... dropping. We're doing everything. We're talking this. We're talking that. We're drop. We're, we're putting bets in. We're doing shots. No, we're not doing shots. We do shots after the show. But no, it, it's it's hard. It's you know, being a producer in radio is really hard. And I'm being very, I'm very very serious. I've been doing this a long time. I've had some brilliant producers. I've had some tough ones that it, it's hard. It's a hard job. Imagine idiots like me that, like, you, you sometimes you just, it's out of your control. And it sucks, too, because they don't get paid that much. <laughs> they, they need to be paid more. I wish we, we should start, like, a producer, Go like, GoFundMe for producers. But some of them, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them are really good dropping sound effects. The Diehards, weeknights from 8 to 10 Eastern on the Sports Map Radio Network. Yeah. 
You're listening to the Big E Sports Show on the Sports Map Radio Network. From the Sports Map Radio Studios, here's Elissa Walker Campbell. Okay, welcome back. Sports Map Radio Network, the Big E Sports Show, powered by our good friends at Progressive Insurance. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive, they save nearly $700 on average. We are thrilled to have back with us Michael Lombardi. He is the former general manager, three-time Super Bowl winning NFL executive after 30 years working for a number of teams, the Patriots, the 49ers, the Raiders, and the Browns. And Michael, it's good to have you back. How are you? Thank you. It's good to be back. I appreciate you having me. We've got a lot of ground to cover. And before we preview Super Bowl 58, you know what it takes to win at the highest level. As I just mentioned, three-time Super Bowl winning executive, you spent many years with the Patriots, and I think one of the biggest storylines that has been talked about this week and discussed is Bill Belichick and that he was not hired in this cycle. So how surprising is it that he did not land a job? I think it was really surprising. The fact is, uh, you know, when you have a coach as great as this coach is, to have him available and really only one team show any interest in him, It's kind of surprising, but it is partly the uh, collaborative mindset that goes into this, that people are intimidated by knowledge. They don't want somebody who's going to be overriding all the, uh, the authority in the building. And I think to me, you know, it's, it's a sad commentary on the NFL that the greatest coach of all time isn't working because of, of everybody wants to be more collaborative than actually win. Do you see a youth movement taking place in coaching right now in the NFL and kind of going away from that old school philosophy and approach to the game? Well, you, you know, yes and no. I see teams trying to try it, but I see teams in the Super Bowl that don't have, they have an old school mentality, which mm-hmm. is credibility, which is accountability, work hard, demanding, get the players to play at a higher level. I think to me, that's always going to be the, that's always going to be the mindset. So that's, that's never going away. That's time and memorial. How to win in the NFL is not changing. Now, you know, how you get there, sometimes I think it it may change. But for me, I think we have a, a little bit of a softer mentality in the NFL. Right now, we want, you know, the players kind of want to have a little bit of an NBA way, way with them. And I think there are some people that are willing to do that. However, that being said, the teams that have winning, they're not doing that. Mm-hmm. How has today's player changed, Michael? Well, I think, there, you know, obviously it's it's. It, it comes down to, you know, we are in a world that is very <clears throat> I centric. You know, the the, build, the art of of creating team, the we, has become harder and harder because of the I, and so you have to do that. But I think at the end of the day, people really want they want to have a team, and they really want to have a team, and so uh, I think. You know, when you see that and when you get players that want to buy into that, like Michigan did this year in college football, that right. was all about we, mm-hmm. you know. And this year, I think the way Kansas City changed their offense, it's all about we. So that being said, it can definitely happen. He is a three-time Super Bowl winner, former NFL general manager Michael Lombardi with us at Sports Map Radio. Give a follow on X or Twitter, at M Lombardi. NFL and you spent time around Bill Belichick so what is it like to work with him and it's just as I said we were talking about I mean it's surprising that he didn't get hired you had what six vacancies in the NFL how in the world did this happen well it, you know he's one of the best people to ever work with because you'll learn the most football from him sure because he's really smart at football and he understands the game and he gets it and so I think for me I, I learned so much from him from Al Davis and and those people. So for, it was a great learning experience and a great working experience. And, you know, he's a receptive to ideas. He's receptive to being uh, challenged. He wants to hear what, what could help us win because at the end of the day, he's about winning. He's not about who's in control. Mm -hmm. Well, another coach we've got to talk about, you just touched on Michigan and that is Jim Harbaugh as he was officially introduced as the new head coach of the chargers, a five year, $90 million contract. Talk to me, Michael. I mean, what are your expectations for him in year one? Well, I, I think it's really a great situation for him because he he really is uh, he really is the perfect fit for what they have to do. He's the perfect fit. I mean, he is tough. He's uh, he's physically and mentally tough. He's competitive, and those are the two things the Chargers really were lacking in. And I think he's going to make them a much better team. And listening at his, pre- you know, to his press conference, I mean, what stood out? What were some of those takeaways? Just that. I mean, he understands how to build a team. He always has. He accepts the challenge. 
and he's got competitive stamina. He's never going to stop working. He's never going to stop trying to compete. And that's going to transcend a team that really struggled to win close games last year. And so what do you think is that top priority for him in year one when you talk about changing that Ma- culture? Making the team tougher, having more to detail, the fundamentals, techniques, making it harder on the players. Practice execution has to become game reality, and I think that's ultimately what he'll do. Hey, we're going to get you ready for Super Bowl 58, going one-on-one with Michael Lombardi, former NFL general manager, three-time Super Bowl winner. And you know what it takes for the regular season success and for that to carry over into postseason play. So uh, what is that key? Can you kind of share that for our listeners? Well, I think the key to success in any playoff game is being able to ter- convert the third and shorts into, into first downs, right? Mm-hmm. Third and one, fourth and one, get them into first downs. And, and ultimately, that's always going to decide the game. Who can do that is really the key. And as we look into the Michael Lombardi crystal ball, how do you see this one playing out with the Chiefs and the 49ers? Because the Super Bowl odds have NFC champion the 49ers as this year's favorite. Well, I think the Chiefs are playing the better football right now, and I think they're hard to move away from. I think they're really good, and I think they've done a great job of of adapting their team to what they have to do and understanding how they have to win. So I'm leaning towards the Chiefs. I still have another few days before I have to pick the game, so I'll stay stay Chiefs here. Uh I'm leaning towards the Chiefs right now. Well, and you can certainly understand why, because what Patrick (laughs) Mahomes, he's playing his best football right now and will make his fourth Super Bowl start in Las Vegas, the most of any quarterback before the age of 30. Will he eventually be the greatest of all time? Just kind of quantify just what he has been able to accomplish in such a short period of time, Michael. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's remarkable, right, how he did it. Like Brady, they kind of – great players have a tendency to become great quickly, don't they? Mm -hmm. And he did. And he's going to continue to be great because he's selfless. He he wants to win more than anything. And when you evaluate talent, I mean, what did you anticipate that he would be this good when we think back to his days in Lubbock, Texas, at Texas Tech? I mean, obviously, Brett Veach saw him that way. You know, I I was kind of falling all over head over heels with Deshaun Watson. So he was Ah, was, – You know, he was he, he obviously set the stage, so it's been great. I mean, look, that's the great skill about scouting is to be able to project the player forward. Well, we hit on Mahomes. we got to get your take on a Brock Purdy, and we've discussed it a lot right here in Hour 1. Why does it seem like everyone's kind of hesitate to fully celebrate and to fully embrace just what he has been able to do in only his second year as a starter? I mean, he's an amazing young man. Yeah, I don't understand it. Everybody loves a, a, a great story, except for some reason they don't love the Purdy story. We all love success stories in America, but to mm-hmm. me, I think it, it's remarkable. This kid has done everything that he's been asked to do, everything that people fall in love with. And so I don't know if it's people jealous because Trey Lance didn't get the job and the 49ers invested so much into him, but I, I think – it's pretty clear that, you know, he's done everything he's needed to do, and he's been great at doing it. Hey, we are wrapping up our time. Michael Lombardi has been our very special guest, former NFL general manager, three-time Super Bowl winner. His second book was published just in 2023 in September, and he was on our program. So why don't you share for our listeners what they will find when they open it up? It is titled Football Done Right, Setting the Record Straight on the Coaches, Players, and History of the NFL. Well, it's a book about the, how everything kind of started. It's a book about how the, the NFL was made, the coaching trees, the impact of television, the top 100 players. It's really a walk down. If you like history, it's a walk down a lane that hasn't really been talked enough about. And I think the players that have come before us, some of the great ones, I think it's truly important that we know who they are. and. Mm-hmm. We study them and respect them, and how this game became so great has a, has a lot to do with a lot of those people I wrote about in the book. You know, Michael, I say it's your second book, but your first book was The Gridiron Genius. i got to get a copy of this. It's a, a master class in winning championships and building dynasties in the NFL. What did you share? Well, that book was really – I didn't really write that book. I lived that book. That book was my experience working with Coach Walls, Coach Belichick, Al Davis, and all the great people that I learned leadership from. So that's that to me was what I what I really valued, and I and it's really it's a football book, mm-hmm. 
but it's a culture book in a disguise. It's really a book about culture. You have lived truly the ultimate journey. My final question for you is, how did you get your big break into the business? What's a little bit about your background you could share? I, you know, I always wanted to be in football, and I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. A scout came through and said Coach Walsh was looking for somebody to be an intern at the Gopher, and I was just a man for the job. So I got to learn at an early age. I said yes. I took a chance, and you know, I followed my dream. I did exactly what Bruce Springsteen was singing to me oh, yeah. on the radio. I was going to cross Highway 9. Uh huh. The title of his book, Football Done Right, Setting the Record Straight on the Coaches, Players, and the History of the NFL. You can go anywhere online and get a copy. Always a true pleasure when we have the opportunity to catch up with Michael Lombardi. Give him a follow on social media at M Lombardi nfl true pleasure thank you michael and happy new year thank you so much bye-bye you bet stick around much more coming your way sports map radio network the biggie sports show we will be right back after this quick break please stand by for this special presentation of the iMedia one network on the live 365 network and the live 365 app And we welcome you to the Brunswick Auto Mart Arena here in Strongsville, Ohio. As Western Reserve Radio, part of the iMedia One Network, is proud to bring to you Canton Akron Jets hockey here on this Saturday afternoon. And the Jets, they take on Team Ohio for the North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship. Hello, everyone. Jim Craven with you, along with Dave Ferris making the trip up here to Strongsville. Jerry and Shandy Lou also in here. So full press box as we get ready for some Saturday afternoon hockey. The Jets looking to win the first Travel Division Championship here. These two teams know each other well. Team Ohio, they come in today at 24-6-5. 138 goals for and 68 against. They are ranked second in the USA Hockey Rankings here in Ohio and 12th in all of the Ohio High School Hockey Rankings. Their head coaches, Jeff McCarthy, their assistants, Mark Greer, Tom Derica, and Jeff Taluski. And the Canton Akron Jets. They were off last weekend, but they come in at 18, 18, and 3 today with 118 goals for and 107 against. So there have been some close games for the Jets. Their last game played was back on January 28th. They took a 4 2 loss to the Newark Generals. And their last meeting with Team Ohio was back on January 7th. They get the first win over Team Ohio this season by a score of 5 to 4. Canton Akron also making their way down to Cincinnati on February 23rd. They'll be participating in the Battle of Ohio, and that'll be the top eight teams competing there as well. And those teams will include the Dayton Stealth, Team Ohio, Hilliard, the Cincinnati Swords, the Miami Junior Red Hawks, the Medina Bees, and the Newark Generals. Of course, Canton Akron making the trip from Stark County down there to take on which should be a four-game schedule, I believe. Three definitely, and we'll see what happens on that Sunday. We're going to step aside for a quick timeout. When we come back, we'll give you the starting lineups for the Canton Akron Jets. We'll talk a little bit more hockey, all that and more coming up here. On Western Reserve Radio and the iMedia One Network, we're back after this. The Mahoning Valley's leader for golf, Milk Creek Golf Course, is now booking tee times for 2024. We offer stay and play opportunities available with nine area hotel partners. For more information, visit our website at millcreekmetroparks.org. Also, look for new, exciting opportunities coming soon, including an indoor player development center with Trackman, an indoor Callaway club fitting center, and an Odyssey fitting studio in 2024. Follow us on Facebook at Milk Creek Golf Course or call 330-740-7112. 
During the fall and winter, grilling season never ends, and Gessler Propane is your local supplier Then makes sure you get your hard-earned money's worth. Why go to gas exchanges to pay higher prices for tanks not filled to capacity? Gessler Propane makes sure you're prepared for year-round grilling with 100% filled tanks at a reasonable cost. See Bob Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, and Saturday, 9 to 3, at Gessler Propane, 702 Youngstown Poland Road, Struthers, or call 330-755-9119. Gessler Propane. They got gas. Yes. Catch all of the spring and summer action of Cleveland Cobras minor league football on Western Reserve Radio. Follow the Cobras as they compete against teams from around the region in pursuit of a TriPoint Football League championship. And if you're looking to continue your football career after high school, college, or even the pros, or to be part of the Cobras staff, go to Facebook at Cleveland Cobras Football. Or contact owner Jesse Caldwell at 330-416-3442. Be a part of the excitement of Cleveland Cobras football. Back here at the Brunswick Auto Mart Arena in Strongsville, Ohio, as we get ready for afternoon hockey or the Canton Akron Jets. Team Ohio making acquaintance again. And they will compete for the North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship here today. The division will be growing much more next year. But the Jets with a little momentum. They get the 5-4 to four win just about a month ago. Their first one over Team Ohio just before Christmas. Dropped one to Team Ohio and also tied them. So it's been a back and forth affair. Close games on all accounts as we get ready for Canton Akron Jets hockey here. Starting lineup for the Canton Akron Jets. It'll be Lucas Black, Hunk, Tyson Hunka, and Tyler Benson on the first line defensively. It'll be Austin Lute, the senior out of Bourbon High School. And Jack Barbieri, the freshman out of Jackson High School. Lucas Black out of Beloit, out of, or excuse me, out of West Branch in Beloit, Ohio. Tyson Hunka, the sophomore out of Green High School. And Tyler Benson, the freshman out of Jackson High School. Several freshmen and sophomore on this Canton Akron Jets team. They are ready to go for the next couple of years. And in the net, it will be the junior out of Perry, Ohio, Brandon Frat Antonio. We're going to step aside now as we honor America with the nation's national anthem. An introduction for the Canton Akron Jets and Team Ohio. Gonna talk about the close nature of these bo both these teams. Of every, as every game they have played has been within a goal or two. Again, Canton, uh, Canton Akron getting their first win of them on January 7th. A couple of ties in there. Make no mistake, two of the best programs in the state of Ohio. And, of course, the Canton Akron Jets program led by head coach Sean Houston, assisted by Ethan Hart, yeah, Everhart. And John Evans. And we thought we were going to have the national anthem. However, that was just going to be an introduction of the two teams here in Strongsville. 17 minutes up on the board as we get ready 
for this North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship. The first one in its history. And the division will be expanding next year. And it will be the who's who. As it's going to be Tyson Hunka. And Ethan Hoffman to take the face off. Hunka going to knock this one back. And he'll take possession. Trying to shoot one off the right circle. And it's going to go to the boards down into the corner. And he'll try to, Team Ohio, try to bring it through the zone. Austin Lute there to stop it down in the Jets defensive zone. Work it off the boards. Try to get it out to Hunka. But it's going to be knocked back by Cooper McCarthy. Rosala now with the puck to the right up front. Antonio. Center ice feed, but nobody there for Team Ohio. Puck now off the boards. Down to the left up for Ed Antonio. As Lute will battle. Hoffman against the boards. Puck now reaching top. It's going to be Lucas Black going to drop this to, Nick, to Angel Nikolov, and he'll send this one down behind the red line. And Icing coming up against the Canton Akron Jets. And we're trying to get a number on the starter for the Team Ohio netminder, but they're going to drop this one to the left up front. Antonio in the Jets' defensive zone. Puck loose now. Send this one off the glass through the neutral zone. And it's going to be Tyler Mahalik, the closest one to it. He'll send it back down to boards uh, to Tyson Hunka. Puck loose now. Excuse me. That's going to be Gage Weaver now taking a shot. See, that's going to be Gavin Weaver. Breen Dahman. And Ben Rose now out on there for the Jets. Puck now at center ice. Going to be brought forward by Ramos. Ramos running into too many blue jerseys. Puck loose down in the circle. It'll be swept away by Nikolov. Puck now cross ice. It'll end up on the stick of Hanneberg. Hanneberg going to send it forward to Dom. And Dom going to be content to send this one down behind the net of A.J. Jagels. Urban now for Team Ohio trying to work it through his defensive zone. He'll send it to the boards. Puck loose now, picked up by Ben Rose. Rose now going to chip this down into the offensive zone of the Jets. But they'll be content to go for a change. It'll be Crescent with the puck for Team Ohio. Edwards now going to chip this one down behind the net. Oh, actually, it's going to go off of a boot. Oh, we can't knock from Jet. And it'll be Gage Weaver now feeding this one to Craven. Craven trying to chip it along the boards. Battling down into the corner. He'll actually get it down there. Fighting through the two-on-one. Puck now loose around the boards as they'll try to get into the corner. Gavin Emerling trying to keep it in the zone. It'll be picked up by Gage Weaver. Weaver feeding over to Zurkowski. Zurkowski trying to work around the corner. Sharp angle shot. And it's going to be stopped by Jagels. Craven looking for the rebound, but it won't happen. 14-41 left here first period. No score here in this inaugural. North Coast High School hockey tip. We'll have a change now. It'll be Bazarov, Seepy. And Rossi offensively. And it'll be Emerling and Campbell for the Jets. They'll drop this one to the left of Jagels. Hoffman now on the faceoff for Team Ohio. Puck going to come loose to the neutral zone. And it's going to be Cantini chasing it down around the boards. And it'll head out to Bazaroff. Bazaroff couldn't pick it up. And nicely will ship this one down into the Team Ohio defensive zone. He'll send it D to D. It'll be Schwartz. Schwartz sent it through the neutral zone. Try to hit the stick of Cantini, but it'll be loose. Team Ohio now have to clear the zone. Bazaroff at the red line. Trying to feed it over to Rossley. Couldn't get to him. Overshoots him, but Bazaroff backing him up. Going to come in here. Try to take a shot between two Team Ohio players, but it's going to go off the stick and head towards the boards. He'll chip it off. Bazaroff, again, keeping it into the zone. He'll work against the boards to the near side. But he'll be picked by McCarthy. McCarthy trying to send this one across. He'll get it to Cantini. Cantini will send it all the way down ice. And no icing coming up against Team Ohio. Puck still loose. It'll be behind the net of Fred Antonio as Campbell will send it along the boards. Crescent will send, try to send it back down. Still going to be loose. And picked up by Bazaroff. Bazaroff trying to Work it forward to Lucas Black, but went to the wrong side. Urban now from the right. Oh, Fred Antonio going to take the shot. Fred Antonio going to knock this one away. Puck still loose. And they'll work it up the boards and be picked off by Epic. 
Team Ohio now working through the circle to the right up for Antonio. Try to center feed it, but nobody there. As Urban will send this one back across. Epich now sending it over to Urban. Urban battling Max Campbell in the corner. Campbell, one of the bigger players for the Jets. Puck loose against the board. Tyson Hunkin now working up the boards behind Lucas Black. He'll chip this one in, be into the circle to the left of Jagels. Puck loose now is Black going to take it from the corner. Try to find an option. He'll get it over to Hunka against the board to the left of Jagels. Puck still loose. He'll try to backhand it. Benson try to find somebody in the slot. Nobody there. Puck now going to head all the way down where Nikolov will send this one back to Hunka. Hunka at the red line. Trying to send it across. He'll get it to Benson. Benson chipping it back towards the circle, and it'll be knocked away by Mahalik. And that's going to be icing coming up against Team Ohio. 12-14 left here, first period. No score here from the Brunswick Auto Mart Arena in Strongsville, Ohio. And they'll drop this one to the left of Jagels. So Dahman, Gavin Weaver, and Ben Rose out as the forwards. Weaver trying to take the shot off the faceoff. That'll be Mahalik sending this one up the boards. Puck still loose, and it'll end up into the Jets' defensive zone. Austin Luton now going to work this off the glass. As it'll go work its way to the other side. Ben Rose, closest Jet to it. Mahalik sending it all the way down ice. And Nikolov trying to work from behind the net. He's going to get some pressure from Hoffman. Rosala now with the puck, trying to drop past it. Nobody there. Shot on goal from Team Ohio. Not a great pass here as we're going to have a stoppage in play. The net came off its moorings as Rosala would run into the net. So 11.35 left here. In this first frame, we have no score. So to drop this one to the right of Fred Antonio. Team Ohio will win this one. Send it out to McCarthy. McCarthy sending it back into the circle to be Craven chasing it down now. From behind the net, he'll get it over to Hannaberg. That'll be just sent right back. As Barbier will send it out to Zurakowski. Zurakowski taking a shot from the blue line. Jagel's going to knock that one away. Jets will maintain possession. Craven now trying to chase it down to the far circle, but it's going to be sent up ice. That's going to be Urban on the breakaway, but Hannaberg going to knock him off course. Puck loose now. Craven with it. Couldn't get all of it, tried to get it to Hannaberg. Robert Hannaberg, the sophomore now, sending it all the way along the boards. And it's going to head down into the Jets' offensive zone as McCarthy will try to catch it in the corner. Craven chasing it down, actually slowed it down, going to send it back out to Weaver. Weaver couldn't get a shot off from the circle. And Weaver going to take a shot up high in the chest. He'll go down, and I believe we're going to have a penalty coming up against Team Ohio, I, I suspect. There was no call, but... There was a whistle, so Craven draws the penalty. 10.37 left here in the first period. And it'll be Cooper McCarthy serving the two-minute penalty for Team Ohio. First power play unit in for the Jets. And it'll be Hunka, Black, and Dahman. Barbieri and Hannaberg defensively shot on goal by Bring Dahman. The sophomore out of Ursuline High School in Youngstown. But that's going to go up into the net. So 156 left on the power play. 10.32 left here at first period. They'll drop it again to the left. It'll be Cantini against Dahman. Jets will end up with it. Work it from behind the net. Send it out to Black. Black from the far boards. Send it back down to the circle. Back out to Black. Black going to take a shot. Jiggle's going to stop that one. 141 left on the power play. 10-17 left. In this first period, they'll drop it to the right of the Team Ohio netminder this time. It'll be Dahman. Kyle Urban taking the faceoff for Team Ohio. Puck loose now. It'll be Hannaberg. Hannaberg bringing it below the circles. You know, working around the net. Have Tyson Hunk out in the circle. It's going to take a shot. Went to the, off the right side. Blocker side save by Team Ohio. That'll be Barbieri now from the circle left of Jagels. Trying to find an option. Send it out to Hunka. Hunka 
Looking across ice to Black, but no path there. He'll send it down low. He'll get it to Black down behind the red line. And Black, bring it back to the top of the circle. Lucas Black feeds it down. Tried to get the rebound shot off Barbieri. It'll be Hanneberg for the shot, and it's going to be stopped by Jagels. Hanneberg taking a shot from the top of the circle to the right of Jagels. 940 left your first period. Minute four left on this power play. CAK being very methodical with it. It'll be Dahman and Hoffman. Puck loose now. He'll keep it in. Hunk it now from the near boards. Looking for an option. He'll take the shot, though, and it'll be a glove save by Jagels. 9.32. Left in the first period, 55 seconds left on the power play. No score here as we just get underway here in this championship game. Dominant Hoffman again for the faceoff. Barbieri sent it, tried to send it back to Hunka, but Hoffman stepping in there. Puck loose now, heading into the neutral zone, and Hanneberg will be the closest jet to it. He's going to have to raise a Team Ohio member down there. Hoffman now will have it in the neutral zone. He'll chip it back down towards Fred Antonio. And... Pratt will stop this one. Couldn't find it for a moment. Got lost in his pads, but a save by the junior out of Perry, Ohio. 9.09 left here, first period. 32 seconds left on the CAK power play. As the Jets will take the puck from behind the net. Drop pass by Black. He'll get that to Hunka. Hunka sending it across ice, or excuse me, to Hunka. Puck loose now, and Team Ohio will send this one down around as Hanneberg will try to get to it. Hanneberg and Black down in the corner trying to battle for the puck. Well, it's going to be picked up by Crescent. Puck still loose here. Black trying to get to it before Edwards does. Puck still loose down in the corner. Hunka going to be the only one near it. He'll try to set something up from behind the net. Try to send it out to Dahman, but he'll have to reverse direction. Come back around the net of Fred Antonio and try to bring it up ice. Black now going to the bench for a change. And the puck will sail. Back down into the Jets' defensive zone. Team Ohio is going to clear that penalty. We're back to five on five. As that pitch. We'll have this one from the far boards. Hanneberg now stepping in, trying to work it off the boards. Tried to get it out to Breen Dom, and Dom couldn't get to it. Breen staying with it, though. Has it now, trying to work it through the neutral zone. Hunka tried to get it, pull it in with his stick, but he's going to lose his stick. It's going to go off the boards and head down defensively to Emerling. Emerling now sending it through the neutral zone back as Craven and Hunka. And Dom now out forward, the forwards for the Jets. Craven stepping in, trying to disrupt it from behind the net. Puck loose now, and it's going to be Rosala to the right of Fran Antonio. He's trying to center ice feed, but couldn't get it to Hoffman. Puck loose in front of Fran Antonio. It's going to be knocked away by Max Campbell. Craven now trying to chip it up the boards, and he'll send it out to Cooper McCarthy. McCarthy going to work this one off the boards. Craven going to step in, send it back into the Jets' offensive zone. It's going to be he and Gavin Weaver, but it's going to be an offside coming up against CAK. 7-11, left here first period. No score. And the Jets will be heading down to Cincinnati in a couple weeks for the Battle of Ohio. It should be a good time. Manny Ramos to take the face off against Craven. Puck loose. Ramos now will send it back to Mahalik. It'll be Ramos now trying to work it down the near board. Set a shot on goal from Urban. Fran Antonio going to stop this one. Another shot from Urban, and Fran Antonio is going to glove save this one. 6.54 left here in the first period. I'll drop this to the left. Up fret. Cantini trying to get a shot on goal, but that's going to end up in the net. Austin Lute will be kind enough to regather that for the officials. He'll drop it again to the left. And Zorikowski. We'll take the face off to the left of Fred Antonio. He'll win this one off the boards. Send it out to the neutral zone. And it'll be Mahalik now. They'll send it right back. And he'll send it out to Urban. Urban going to take a shot, but it's going to go off the boards wide 
of the cage. Puck loose down in the corner. Austin Lute trying to reach in and send it up to Gage Weaver. He'll battle against Cantini for it. It'll come loose, and it's going to be Urban again. Trying to take the shot, but it's going to go wide of the cage. Nikolov will knock this puck loose out into the circle. And it'll be Zarkowski chipping it off the glass, but sent back by Shantz. And icing coming up against Team Ohio. They'll drop this one to the left of Jagels, and the Jets will go for a change. It'll be Rossi, Bazarov, and CP out for CAK. Hanneberg and Barbieri defensively. Colson Edwards take the face off here. And it's going to be Hanneberg from the top. Going to get in. It's going to go. Robert Hanneberg from the blue line. 6-12 of the first period. Put CAK on the board. They have a 1-0 lead. Some new effects there by our own Dave Ferris. Can never go wrong with a flyover. So 6-12 of the first period. It's Hannenberg. It puts CK up by a score of one to nothing. Bazaroff taking the face off against Hoffman. This one will send it sail down behind the net of Jagels. Send it back out along the boards. And down into the defensive zone of the Jets. It'll be Robert Hanneberg and Rosala battling for it. Hanneberg getting a little bit of an advantage here. He'll chip it forward. And Barbieri will send this one forward, but it's going to be picked up by Hoffman. Hoffman going to take the shot from the circle. Brad Antonio knocked that one away. Bazarov trying to find an option or try to get it out to CP, but Crescent will be the closest one in, from Team Ohio. He'll send it back down into the corner. Crescent now sending it back down again as Barbieri will pick up the puck for the Jets, try to send it forward. Looking for Zurichowski. Excuse me, that's going to be Rossi nicely. And it'll sail back through the neutral zone. Over to Barbieri. Excuse me, to Barbieri from Emerling. Barbieri trying to take a sh uh, long shot, but it's going to go off the glove of Mahalik. Uh, CP now working around the back of Jagels. Trying to take a shot from around the post. Couldn't get to it, and Urban's going to knock this one away. Gavin Emerling will try to pick it up again, but it's going to be picked up by Cantini. Cantini couldn't hold on to it, and Barbieri will send this out to Gavin Weaver. Weaver trying to send it out to Ben Rose, but it'll be ricocheted by Tyler Mahalik. Puck loose now down in the corner to the right of Jagels. Trying to work it through the neutral zone. Max Campbell going to send Epich down on his backside. Shot from, from the angle, and Fred Antonio is going to stop that one for the Jets. Jadalos now sending this one down ice, but it's going to be Emmerling's going to end up with it. Gavin Weaver trying to send it back down. And Ben Shantz going to shoot this one down the boards, and it's going to be icing for Team Ohio. 421 left here, first period. CAK with a 1 0 lead. Robert Hanneberg takes a shot from the blue line, puts the Jets up 1 0. They'll drop this one to the left of Jagels, the Team Ohio. Netminder. It'll be Hunka and Hoffman to take the face off. Puck still loose. Lute will have this one. He'll send it back down behind the red line. Hunka will be close to it. He'll battle Shantz for it. Hunka will win that one. He'll try to send it back up to the corner. And it'll be a shot from Nikolov. And a pad save by Jagels. Some battling in front of the net, but Jagels going to lock that one down with 4.09 left here in the first period. Good work by both teams in front of the net. The face off in the circle to the right of Jagels. Maybe Hunka and Epich. Hunka with the shot from the circle. Pad save as Black now tried to feed it back over to Hunka. Couldn't get it to him. And that's going to be Wyatt Frank sending it forward to Edward. Edwards couldn't hold on to it. And Black could have sent it against the boards. Tried to get it to Hunka, but he's going to be smothered by Wyatt Frank. Puck loose now, Edwards in the Jets' defensive zone as Benson will force it down by, down by the red line, but it'll be lost again. Sent across ice from Edwards over to Frank. Edwards now trying to pick it up. 
Trying to work around Angel Nikolov. As Nikolov now will end up with the puck, he'll try to send it across, but he picked up by Cantini. Cantini took a shot and go wide of the cage. 317 left here, first period. Benson now trying to find an option. He'll send it through the neutral zone. McCarthy couldn't stop it. And Crescent will send this one forward as Urban will try to work it down the far board. Try to work to the inside. And we're going to have a holding penalty coming up against CAK. Team Ohio will go to their first power play of the day. 3.03 left here, first period. Jets with a 1 0 lead. Tyler Benson serving the penalty for the Jets. So Urban Cantini, MacArthur, and Rosala, as well as Edwards out for the Team Ohio power play. Jets going to send this one down 200 feet. McCarthy will try to work it from behind the boards. Lucas Black trying to work it off the boards there. As Hunka, Hunka and Black are going to collide. Austin Luke going to step in and try to send it down by those two time to recover. Rosala tried to send it down to McCarthy. He couldn't handle it. He'll go down on his own, but he'll recover. Bring it from back from behind the net of Jagels. Team Ohio will reset. 132 left on the Team Ohio power play. Black going to step in, knock the puck away. Rosala from the far boards. Work through the circle, been behind the net of Fred Antonio. He'll try to drop it to Urban. Urban getting it over to Cantini. Cantini from behind the red line. Send it to Urban and to McCarthy. Shot on goal. And it's going to be swept away by Lucas Black. All the way down the ice and picked up by McCarthy. Jagels will set that up for him. 204 left here, first period. One minute left on the Team Ohio power play. Rosella. Looking to bring it down, but Hunka, with a nice move, is going to lose his stick. Had an opportunity where he was going to take a shot, but he'll have to get back and get his stick. And it'll be Wyatt Frank now trying to bring it down outside the circle. Craven going to knock that one away. Jack Barbier trying to work him from around the behind the net. Wyatt Frank trying to knock, knock him off the puck. Hunka tried to recover that, couldn't handle it. Ramos. From the blue line. Send it down into the circle to Epich. They'll send it back out to Ramos. Ramos taking the shot. Pad saved by Fred Antonio. No real danger there. As Frank sent it back out to Ramos. He'll send it from the shooter from the blue line. Loose. And it'll end up down in the corner. As Colson Edwards will recover for Team Ohio. Wyatt Frank now with the puck from the blue line. Ramos taking another shot. Another pad saved by Fred Antonio with one second left. And C.A.K. will clear the penalty. Shot from the circle by Edwards. Nowhere to go. And we have a stoppage in play, and I believe there's an upcoming penalty on the Jets. Try to get the signal. A lot going on down there. So high sticking will be the call. As it'll be Robert Hannenberg serving the two minutes. For CAK, so the Jets go right back to the penalty kill. 56.4 seconds left here in this first period. Jets lead by a score of one to nothing. Cantini now sending to the top, out to Rosala. Rosala from the point. Walking the blue line. Send it over to McCarthy. McCarthy will take the shot, but it'll go high over the cage. 43 seconds left here, first period. Minute 45 left on the CAK penalty kill. Puck loose now as Ben Rose tries to disrupt it. Rosala now will send this one around the kick plate. All the way over to Urban. Urban waiting for it. Austin Lutz setting there. Urban's going to go down on his own. Pushed his way back forward, backward and went down. As Lute now will send this one all the way down to the net of Jagels. 19, excuse me, 18.8 seconds left here in the first period. Jagels will hold on to that. Minute 23 left on the CAK penalty kill. It'll be Black, Ben Rose, Nikolov. And Austin Lute out for the Jets. Epich, Ramos, Frank, Hoffman, and Edwards. For Team Ohio, Edwards now trying to work it through the circles. Now get out to Ramos. Ramos trying to work it along the boards. Of Epich in front of him. He'll take a shot, but it's going to go wide of the cage. And it'll end up on a stick of Edwards back out at the blue line. Edwards is going to take a shot, but it's going to have too much traffic there. As we come to the end of the first period here in Strongsville, 
in this inaugural North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship. Canton Akron Jets, they lead by a score of one to nothing. A minute four left on the CAK penalty kill. And we're going to step aside for a break when we come back. Second period action here on Western Reserve Radio, part of the iMedia One Network. At Two Men in a Truck, we know moving is tough, but we make it easy. Whether your move is big or small, we'll make it a smooth one. We're the movers who care, and we'll prove it with our 96% referral rate and courteous professional movers. For your next move, call Two Men in a Truck, Youngstown. 330-758-2110. It's 330-758-2110, and go Phantoms! Passion, talent, development. NCAA hockey offers all that, and its players graduate at a 90% rate. Joe Pavelski. Backhand scorer! Wow, what a goal! Johnny Gaudreau. And Tori Krupp were stars on campus before the NHL stage. Whether you are a fan or a player, nothing compares to college hockey. Visit collegehockeyinc.com and follow at College Hockey. Champions of the college hockey world! Back here at the Brunswick Auto Mart Arena in Strongsville, Ohio. Second period action coming up here. Kenton Akron Jets with a 1-0 lead. However, Hanneberg back in the box for CAK. A minute four left on the CAK penalty kill. We'll switch sides now. Jago going to the net to the left of us. Fran Antonio to the right. And it'll be Black, Lute, Nikolov, and Hunka on the ice for the Jets. Only score in the first period come at 12.47 as Robert Hanneberg would hit one from the blue line as we're underway here, second period. McCarthy going to send this one down through the neutral zone. Austin Lute going to step in and send it back down to Jagels. He'll set up Rosala. Rosala going to bring it through the circle. He'll send over to Urban. Urban on the rush, trying to get through two Jet players. Now three, Black with the back check. Puck loose as Nikolov tried to send it around the kickboard. Too much traffic, and it's trapped down in the corners. Cantini tried to reach in there. For Team Ohio, Nikolov now working from behind Cantini. Puck now behind the net. Cantini sending it out to Urban. Urban from the circle, going to take the shot, but it's going to be Austin Lute that's going to get in the way. And Lute tried to send the puck down or couldn't get all of it. That'll be Cantini now battling Nikolov for the puck to the left of Fred Antonio behind the red line. Rosala with the shot. It's going to go over the cage. As Nikolov now trying to sweep this one away. Carter Rosala trying to recover it. Send it back down to Cantini. Shot from the circle, and it's going to be stopped. No goal! Shot on goal. Looked like it may have bounced around as McCarthy now with the puck, try to backhand it. And we're going to have a stoppage in play here. CAK will clear the penalty. 15.48 left here, first period. The official immediately saying no goal there. Zerkowski going over to give a little love to Fred Antonio. Might owe him a steak dinner for that one. As Zerkowski will take the face off for the Jets, be to the left of Fred Antonio. Wide Frank for Team Ohio. Puck working against the board. Gavin Emerling trying to set it up. It's going to be Chance who tried to go for it. Gage Weaver was the nearest Jet. Puck loose now. Zerkowski trying to work. Through some traffic, couldn't get to it. Wyatt Frank now with Edwards in front of him. Gage Weaver with the back check trying to step in. Emerling stepped in with a puck as a Frank was trying to take a shot there. Almost got one off. Fred Antonio going to snag the puck and lock it down. 15-28 of the first period. Jets will go for a change. So it'll be nicely Ben Rose and Gavin Weaver. Hanneberg. Back on the ice as Frank will take the faceoff against Seepy. Excuse me, against Dahlman. Hanneberg sent us one along the board. Try to get it out to Ben Rose. Rose trying to work again, work against Frank. Puck loose Dahlman now. Trying to work right down center ice. Frank applying a little bit of pressure. Dahlman will be content to chip that one down behind the net. So Barbieri now down in the corner battling for the Jets, but it's going to be picked up by 
Crescia. And it's going to head down behind Fred Antonio. Icing coming up against Team Ohio. 14.53 left here, second period. Jets with a 1-0 lead. Jets only victory over Team Ohio coming on January 7th on a 5-4 win. At center ice. Drop it to the left of Jagels this time. He bats her off for the Jets. Puck loose into the neutral zone. And Gavin Emerling now trying to work that down to Rossi nicely. Nicely couldn't handle it. Tried to chip it in there, but going to be knocked away by Hoffman. Collision down at the bottom in the corner as Bazarov steps in. And it's going to be Hoffman. Hoffman down the far boards. He's going to have to get around Nikolov. He'll feed it back, but nobody there as Hoffman couldn't get loose. Puck loose in a circle to the left of Fred Antonio, now picked up by Nikolov. Nikolov trying to feed it across ice to uh, Rossi nicely, but Bazarov will end up with it. Make a little nifty move there. Try to get into the zone, and Rossi nicely going to battle against Rosala. He's going to lose that one. Kind of out of his weight class on that one. Carter Rosala, much larger. As Sipi will send this one down behind the blue line. Bazarov stepping in there, trying to put some pressure on Nikolov from the near board now. Try to send it across ice. He'll get to Rossi nicely. Nicely try to feed it to Sipi, but he'll have McCarthy get in his way. Cantini now feeding up to Ramos. Ramos going to take the shot. Blocker side save for Fred Antonio. Urban now sending it around to Cantini. Cantini from the top, trying to find Ramos in the slot. It's going to be, they'll take a shot, two shots, and behind it'll end up behind the net. No goal for Team Ohio. Nikolov now trying to send it across the ice, get it out to Rossi nicely. It'll go off the stick of nicely, and behind the goal line. Icing coming up against the Canton Akron Jets. So Hunka, Black, Benson back out as the forwards. Hanneberg and Barbieri, the defenseman. Be Mahalik, Edwards, Frank. Epich and Crescent for Team Ohio. Edwards now from behind the net of Fred Antonio, trying to work it around. He'll come through the circle, change directions, and get back over to Frank. Frank couldn't handle the pass. It'll be Lucas Black sending it out to Hunka. Hunka tried to chip it off the boards, couldn't get all of it. As Hanneberg will send it through the neutral zone, try to send it cross ice over to Benson. Benson couldn't get through Crescent to get to it. Crescent now with the Black stepping in there from the corner. And they can't keep it in as he'll send it up to Barbieri. Hanneberg now trying to get away from Epich. Send it back to the red line. It's Hunka will find Benson. Benson tried to send it across to Black. Hunka from the circle to the right of Jagels. He'll take the shot. It'll go up into the net. 12.38 left here, second period. Jets with a 1-0 lead. I'll drop this one to the right of Jagels. It'll be Zurakowski and Urban. Puck at the blue line. As Zurakowski steps in, tries to take a shot, but it's going to go off the stick of Chance and work behind the Team Ohio net. Craven stepping in to provide some defense and disrupt the Team Ohio. As Ramos tried to send it out, but it's going to be stopped by Zurakowski. Zurakowski and Craven working along the boards. Craven. Trying to send it out. It's going to be Nikolov at the red line now trying to reset. He'll try to get it over to Gage Weaver. Weaver from the far board is going to send it across the, around the kick plate. Craven, the nearest jet. He'll try to send it back down into the corner. End up on a stick of a Team Ohio player. And it'll be Jadlos now sending it out to the blue line. And it'll get past Austin Lute. And Nikolov will be able to recover it. Lute sent it across. He's tried to hit Craven. Craven couldn't get turned around to get it. Chance. Now sending it D to D. He'll send that over to Jadlos. Jadlos, excuse me. Ramos trying to work through the slot. But three Jets players there. And he'll be content just to chip this around the net of Fred Antonio. Puck loose in the paint. Ramos battling in front as Austin Lute will sweep this one away. He'll be knocked off the puck by Rosala. And Austin Lute will recover. And he'll try to get it out to Gage Weaver, but it'll go off the boards. And this one might go for icing. And no, McCarthy going to step up. McCarthy trying to get around Gage Weaver, looking for Hoffman. But he'll find Cressa out at the boards. Austin Lute now 
will send us down into the corner. Jets will go for a change. 11 minutes left here. Second period, CAK with a 1-0 lead. Ben Shantz from around the boards. Send it out, but it'll hit up the neutral zone. Campbell going to shoot this one from outside the Jets offensive zone. And Jagles, no problem stopping that one. 10.50 left here, second period. Rose, Gavin Weaver, and Breen Dahman now out offensively for the Canton Acro Jets. So it'll be Campbell and Emerling defensively. They'll drop this one to the right of Fred Antonio. It'll be Dahman and Edwards for the faceoff. Puck loose. Campbell tried to step and set around the boards. Puck still loose. As Gavin Weaver stepping in, working against the boards. Puck, puck will come loose and it'll be Dahman sent around the kick plate to Ben Rose. Rose trying to back in to get it out of there. Couldn't get all of it. Wyatt Frank now stepping in. Dahman going to knock him off the puck. And working along the boards is Epic Frank, Dahman, and Ben Rose. Ben Rose still trying to get it to the neutral zone here. McCarthy and Rose battling it out there. Both looking for a penalty on each other. Not much going on there, actually, though. Edwards now down through the slot. He's going to have Gavin Emerling in the way. Work around him. Takes a half-hearted shot. Pad saved by Fred Antonio. Campbell sweep this one out. As Urban, he'll send this back around a kick plate. Edwards will end up with it. Gavin Weaver stepping into the corner for the Jets. Campbell trying to get it to Ben Rose. Ben Rose tried to backhand it, but there was no option there. Closest one was Dom and him Urban now. Against the near boards, battling for the puck, and Epich now will get it, send it out to Max Campbell. Campbell going to shoot this one all the way down ice, and the Jets looking for a change on this one. And that'll be Hannaberg, CP, Bazaroff, Barbieri, and Rossi nicely. Mahalik, Urban, Ramos. Cantini and Chance for Team Ohio. Ramos now from the circle, takes a shot. Cantini was looking for the rebound, couldn't get to it. Bazaroff now going to feed it across. Oh, he's tried to get it out to CP. CP couldn't handle it, but it'll head down into the Jets' offensive zone. And he's, he'll knock Mahalik off the puck. Puck loose now. He picked up by Rossi nicely on the far board. He's trying to work it off the glass. Ramos, though, causing some chaos. Team Ohio with the puck down in the circle. We get past Ramos. And Ramos now from the right of Fred Antonio, trying to work around Rossi nicely. Sends a shot wide of the cage. Team Ohio trying to work from a sharp angle, going to take the shot, going to go up into the net. I believe that was going to be Lucas or uh, Lucci Cantini. Excuse me. Let me get these names right. 8.57 left here, second period. C.A.K. with a one nothing lead here as Hunka and Hoffman will take the face off to the right of Fred Antonio. Hunka, Benson, and Black back out for the Jets as Nikolov tries to take the puck away from Rosala behind the net. Nikolov and Rosala continue to battle. It's going to be Hoffman going to step in there as well for Team Ohio. Hunka going to wait for the feed. And Rosala now against the boards, working against Hunka. Hunka trying to lift the stick. He'll get it loose. Puck's going to be loose, and it's going to be Nikolov from the bottom of the circle. Going to send this one across. Try to get it out to Benson. Benson was right there. It went off his boot. McCarthy will pick it up for Team Ohio. He'll drop that one to Jodlos. Jodlos couldn't handle it. Puck came loose, and it's going to be Hunka. He's going to send this one behind the net of Team Ohio. Black tried to step in there. It'll be a collision with Hoffman. Now it'll be Kresha with the puck, but Black will end up with it. He'll shoot it down to the boards behind the goal line. Jadlo sending this one up along the boards as Hunka will battle Hoffman. He'll hit it back into the neutral zone. And Nikolov battling with Hoffman. Shot on goal from Kresla, but Fred Antonio stopped that one. Rosala now picking it up through the circle. Going to drop pass it to the right of Fred Antonio. That's going to be Edwards. Puck is loose as Edwards now recovered. Center across to White Frank, but it's going to be intercepted by Lucas Black. It's four on one. Black with the disadvantage. He'll lose it as he gets into the offensive zone. Edwards will be content to set this one up, try to get it down to McCarthy, but it's going to end up behind the net of Fred Antonio. 7.25 left here, second period. Icing coming up against Team Ohio. Jets with a 1-0 lead. 
So it'll be Craven, Zorkowski, and Gage Weaver out for the Jets. Gavin Emerling and Max Campbell on the backside. He'll drop this one to the right of Jagels. Zorkowski take the face off against Urban. Ramos now with the puck. Puck got chipped there. Is Weaver going to take a spill? Campbell from the blue line going to take a shot. It's not going to make it through all the traffic as Ramos and Urban now. It'll be a three on two if they hurry. Urban going to try to take a shot from the circle. And glove save by Fred Antonio. 7.05 left here in the second period. Brandon Fred Antonio, the junior out of Perry, Ohio. Getting some work tonight. So Dahman, Rose, and Gavin Weaver back out. As well as Barbieri and Hanneberg. Puck now. Sail back to Team Ohio. Work it off the boards. It'll be Wyatt Frank again. Trying to work it around Hanneberg. Puck loose. Hanneberg now trying to work it around the boards to get it to Ben Rose. Rose and Mahalik. Gavin Weaver. Epich and Hanneberg all in the area against the boards. And I'll just chip it down in the corner where Barbieri will look for an option. And he'll send this one down 200 feet, and it'll be icing coming up against CAK. 6.34 left here in this second period. It's the inaugural North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship. That's a lot to say there. We'll have to come up with something a little that flows a little better than that. What do you think, Jerry? All right, so they'll drop this one to the right of Fred Antonio. Maybe CP and Cantini battling for it. Nikolov trying to feed Rossi nicely, but Chance is going to pick it up in the neutral zone, try to send it across ice. He'll send it down into the corner. As Nikolov try to send along the boards. Urban now with the shot from the top of the circles. As Cantini will step in, Nikolov again with it, trying to get it out to Bazarov. Max Bazarov, the senior. Working through the neutral zone. He's got Rossi nicely to his right. And he's got CP in the slot. Can't get the puck over there. He'll pass it from behind his back. Try to get it to CP. Looking for somebody in the slot. Bazarov will work back into the circles. That'll be Hoffman. Now working back through the Jets offensive zone. And all the way out to Nikolov. One off Nikolov's boots and back to Ramos. That's Urban now. With the puck, he'll get it to Ramos. Rosala will knock down nicely. Ramos from the circle. Trying to feed Urban. Couldn't get it over to him. Nikolov with that long reach, slowing that one down. Austin Lute now sweeping this out into the neutral zone. As Chance will have an opportunity to reset. He'll have Jadlos to his left. Chance now trying to work through nicely. He'll take a shot, going to go high over the cage. Puck's still loose, looking for the rebound shot. Is Chance, he won't get an opportunity. Nikolov trying to get it across ice, looking for Benson. It'll go off his boot. Benson going to take a shot from the left of Jagels. And he'll head down in the corner. Nikolov now by himself. Puck will be taken away by Team Ohio. Try to get on the stick of Rosala, but be picked up by Gavin Emerling. Emerling working through a couple of Team Ohio players. He'll be knocked down by Rosala. Carter Rosala is going to head to the box for hooking. 4.49 left here in this second period. And CAK will go to the power play for two minutes. First team power play out for the Jets. It'll be Black, Dahman, and Hunka, as well as Barbieri and Hanneberg. So, Mahalik, Urban, Ramos. Out for Team Ohio. Hanneberg going to send over to Hunka. Hunka to take a shot from the circles. Could get the rebound shot for Barbieri. McCarthy. Send it down in the corner. Hanneberg. Over to Hunka. Hunka taking another shot. Puck sailing around to Black. Black down in the corner. As Black from behind the net, trying to find an option. He'll take his time and work back the other way. He'll drop past it, trying to get over to Hunka. Hunka taking his time to get to it. And it's going to be loose out to Dom. And Dom going to have to step in, chip this one back into Hunka down in the corner. They'll have to reset. Set it back out to the blue line. It's going to get past Hanneberg and head down behind the goal line. It'll be Hanneberg and Urban racing for it. Hanneberg will get to it, but it'll be knocked up against the boards by Urban. 
Dahman now sending Bar back around the black. Black can be content to let this go to Barbieri, but it's going to be Epic going to step in. Hunka sending it along the boards. No other blue jerseys there as Mahalik now will step in for Team Ohio to go off the pad of Hunka and back around the net. Alfred Antonio Hanneberg and Epic on the approach for the puck, but Dahman will step into it. And it's going to be official. It's going to get in the way, and it's going to be a save by Edwards. Trying to backhand shot as McCarthy, he'll get one off too. It's from the top of the circle, half-hearted. He'll get a second shot at it. And Fred Antonio going to step in front of it and swallow that one up. 3.29 left here in this second period. 40 seconds left on the CAK power play. Team Ohio playing this one well. Putting the pressure on CAK. Dahman running into the official. They're kind of interrupted everything. But the officials are part of the game as well. So with that, it'll be Epich and Dahman. And as Nikolov will send this one over to Lute, Lute will send, try to get it back to Black. Black will have to slow it down a little bit. Puck loose now in a circle. Black looking for somebody. He'll get Austin Lute across the neutral zone past the red line. He'll be content to chip this one right behind the net of Jagels. That'll be Luke working from behind, looking for an option there. Nobody there now is Dahman. We'll send this one back out to Hunka. Hunka to the near boards. Working around Epic. Epic going to take the shot. It's going to be a glove save by Jagels. 2.57 left in the second period. 13.03 gone here. Excuse me, 14.03 gone here in the second period. Eight seconds left on the Carter Rosala penalty. Hunka to take the face off against Edwards. Be to the right of Jagels. Puck loose against the boards now. As McCarthy won it. He'll chip it back down. Edwards will be the closest player to it. And McCarthy will send this one out to Rosala, who's just going to make it out of the box. Team Ohio is going to clear that penalty. Rosala looking for an option here, but he's going to send it high through the neutral zone. That's going to be Mahalik that's going to try to reset it, but it's going to end up on the stick of Tyson Hunka. Hunka going to just send it back around the red line, back to the red line. Dahman now to Black. Black over to Hunka. Hunka tried to take a shot. Great save by Jagels. Emerling with another shot, but it's going to go off the boot of Cooper McCarthy. And Edwards now from the circles. Try to send it out to Wyatt Frank. It's going to pass him up. Head down behind the goal line. It's going to be Gavin Emerling that's going to have the opportunity to get to it. Emerling's just going to send this one across the boards back out to Hunka. McCarthy stepping in to cause him some headache. And Max Campbell will step in to get into the neutral zone. Lucas Black now from the far boards. Battling chance for it. He'll lose it. And Gavin Emerling going to send this one back down into the Jets' offensive zone. As well, we get a few changes. Craven now on the, on the ice for Tyson Hunka. Craven into the corner. Now locked down with Ben Shantz. Vito Cantini now sending it across the ice, trying to get it to Edwards. Urban will step in. He'll, he'll drop it for Edwards. Emerling now sending it through the neutral zone as his puck will stay loose. Craven trying to get to it. 115 left here in the second period. Emerling trying to send a pass over to Barbieri. Jack Barbieri working through the circles. Craven to the other side, looking for the feed. Couldn't get it to him. And Jagel is going to lock down a weak pass. Excuse me, a weak shot by the Jets. 104 left here in the second period. CAK with a very slim one to nothing lead. The only goal coming in the first period, 1247. Robert Hanneberg from the blue line as Hunka will take this face off against Hoffman to the left. Of Jagels. Puck loose now as Benson tries to step it. He's going to take a shot from Hoffman. Jet's going to recover. It's going to be black, but he'll have his pocket picked by Hoffman. Hoffman now will try to work through the, through the neutral zone. He'll take a shot, and it's going to go wide left. Oh, Fred Antonio Black taking a little bit of shot of a cantini. The puck will sail. Back down to the Jets' offensive zone. Tyler Benson stepping in, trying to keep it in. As Hunka dropped past it, but there was nobody there. Cantini now. Try to do the same, and it'll end up on a stick of Lucas Black. Hunka now working from the left of Jagels. He'll go down. Puck still loose. Rosala reaching around for the puck, trying to work through. Uh, 
the neutral zone. It'll be loose now, Hanneberg. Working it off the glass around Carter Rosala. Robert Hanneberg now content to chip this one down in there as the Jets went for a change. Bazaroff, Benson, and Blackout. Puck going to sail down there. That's going to bring us to the end of the second period here at the Brunswick Auto Mart Arena in Strongsville, Ohio. A close one as the only goal coming. At 12.47 of the first period, Hanneberg with the shot from the blue line. Gives CAK the one nothing lead. Nothing since then. It's been a back and forth affair. No conversions on a, on a power play for either team as well. So we're going to step aside for a break. They're going to have an ice cut. And when we come back, we'll have third period action here on Western Reserve Radio, part of the iMedia One Network. The Mahoning Valley's leader for golf, Milk Creek Golf Course, is now booking tee times for 2024. We offer stay and play opportunities available with nine area hotel partners. For more information, visit our website at millcreekmetroparks.org. Also, look for new exciting opportunities coming soon, including an indoor player development center with Trackman, an indoor Callaway club fitting center, and an Odyssey fitting studio in 2024. Follow us on Facebook at Milk Creek Golf Course or call 330-740-7112. During the fall and winter, grilling season never ends, and Gessler Propane is your local supplier that makes sure you get your hard-earned money's worth. Why go to gas exchanges to pay higher prices for tanks not filled to capacity? Gessler Propane makes sure you're prepared for year-round grilling with 100% filled tanks at a reasonable cost. See Bob Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, and Saturday, 9 to 3, at Gessler Propane, 702 Youngstown Poland Road, Struthers, or call 330-755-9119. Gessler Propane. They got gas. Catch all of the spring and summer action of Cleveland Cobras Minor League Football on Western Reserve Radio. Follow the Cobras as they compete against teams from around the region in pursuit of a Tri-Point Football League Championship. And if you're looking to continue your football career after high school, college, or even the pros, or to be part of the Cobras staff, go to Facebook at Cleveland Cobras Football. Or contact owner Jesse Caldwell at 330-416-3442. Be a part of the excitement of Cleveland Cobras football. At Two Men in a Truck, we know moving is tough, but we make it easy. Whether your move is big or small, we'll make it a smooth one. We're the movers who care, and we'll prove it with our 96% referral rate and courteous professional movers. For your next move, call Two Men in a Truck Youngstown, 330-758-2110. That's 330-758-2110. 2110 and go Phantoms! When you were a little kid and you thought about what you wanted to be, teaching was at the top of your list. But things changed. And as you got older, teaching didn't seem like the best option anymore. So you're thinking you'll be something else. But what would your 12 year old self say? Now you want to be a doctor. You don't think teachers save lives? 25 at a time. An actress? Try playing a different role every time the bell rings. How about a scientist? Ever heard of physics, chemistry? Who do you think teaches that? Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, and taking learning far beyond the four walls of the classroom. It's time to recognize that great things are happening in teaching and put it back on your list. Don't try to convince yourself otherwise. You had it right the first time. Find out how you can make more at teach.org. Make more. Teach. Brought to you by Teach and the Ad Council. Intermission time as Dave throws some new bumper music at me that I really like. So, kind of nice there. Take a look at scores from around... The world of hockey here on Saturday. The Canton Akron Jets varsity team drop a heartbreaker to Fremont by a score of 6-4. to four. Trailed that one 5-1 to one at one point. Made it back all the way to 5-4, to four, but an empty net goal would seal that one for Fremont. However, Canton Akron Jets varsity team will make it down to the Battle of Ohio in Cincinnati in a couple of weeks. Take a look at some NCAA college action as Penn State trails number eight Minnesota by a score of two to nothing. RIT and Mercyhurst all tied up at one. 
American International in Niagara just underway in the first period. No score there. Second period action, Lindenwood and Stonehill knotted up at zero. Can we say that, knotted up at zero, Dave? Okay. We just, <laughs> just did. Minnesota State and Michigan Tech are tied at one. That in the first period. Coming up tonight, Notre Dame will take on number four, Wisconsin. If you hadn't had the opportunity to go out and see a Notre Dame hockey game, a wonderful arena there, had an opportunity to see the facilities uh, right next to the football stadium where you can come out and see Touchdown Jesus. Also, Quinnipiac, number five in the nation, will take on Clarkson, Michigan State. Number nine will take on number 11, Michigan. UConn and Massachusetts will go at it. Massachusetts ranked 12th in the nation. Cornell will take on Union. Omaha and Western Michigan will get it. That will be a 6 o'clock start. New Hampshire and Merrimack will go at it. St. Cloud will take on Miami of Ohio. And if you are a fan of Western Reserve Radio or the Youngstown Phantoms, a couple of names you'll recognize over there from years past with the Phantoms organization. Robert Morris, 7 p.m. They'll take on Army at West Point. Princeton taking on St. Lawrence, Sacred Heart, and Air Force will meet. And Lake Superior State will take on Bowling Green. Of course, tonight coming up for the Youngstown Phantoms, they will be out of town. However, they're taking on Green Bay. Dave's going to correct me on that. They drop a heartbreaker last night, 5-4, to four, in a shootout. As a... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't get all the details. I think Jack Wilson was in a pretty good tilt last night. We'll call that a nice middleweight bout. We'll have to get more details on that. However, excuse me, the Muskegon Lumberjacks. There we go. However, the Kent Akron Jets, we'll, we'll try that again. The Youngstown Phantoms will be back on February 23rd and 24th at the Cavelli Center as they take on the Chicago Steel. And if you remember about a year ago, the two-game series against Chicago in Youngstown. Kind of where the season turned around there, Dave, where we still really went on in a good run, and, of course, Youngstown ended up winning the 2022-2023 Clark Cup. February 29th, that's a special one. The Waterloo Blackhawks will be in town. It'll be a school day game as it'll be a 10 o'clock start. And you know the school day game is always a good game, no matter what. It is usually the loudest crowd because oh, it is the loudest. Every well, no, I will take that back. It is not the loudest crowd. The finale game for the cup was the loudest crowd. I will that say was it a, is the second loudest crowd. That was a unique <laughs> situation, though, which we hope happens again and again. Yeah, we do. Uh, but certainly, it'll be a 10:05 start there for the Youngstown Phantoms. Uh, students from around the valley Just, will be there, and they, they always like a a good game. Maybe maybe a good. Hug it out session. We'll yeah. call it on the ice. Yeah, we don't we, we, we don't encourage fighting. We're just saying sometimes those things happen. But great seats still available. Give Kelsey and crew a call down at the Youngstown Phantoms 330-747. Puck 747-7825 for ticket information. And of course, the Youngstown Phantoms making some moves this week, trying to make another run towards the Clark Cup, and uh, I think we're all for it. We are. I think we've become Ryan Ward fans here. Is uh, that it, program? It's hard not to. It, it, when you've talked to Ryan, he's real down to earth. He's a nice guy, but he gets your kids motivated too. He and, so, he, it, and he tells you like it is. <laughs> we, we, behind the scenes, he tells you like it is. I'm sorry to say. Well, as legend has it, after the uh, Incident down, we'll call it the incident, incident. down in Cranberry, Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> Dropped a couple games down there. There was there was some. I, I believe it's what Coach Gessler would call it a fireside chat. Yes. And uh, since then, uh, they have done pretty well. So there's an expectation set for the Youngstown Phantoms, and Coach Ryan Ward obviously expects him to uphold, uphold that. Mark Mark Means sends me a message and says he he encourages fighting. Well, there's plenty of it, Mark. If you come down well, to a hey, game, you can come you know sit up in a press box. We can put Mark on a set of skates and put him in the box. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we could do that as a, as a charity event. Mark means on skates. Pay five bucks, you can see it. That's right. There you go. <laughs> we can we can make some charities very happy with that. I know he's listening now. So, again, though, great games coming up here for the Youngstown Phantoms. Three three zero seven four seven puck seven four seven seven eight two five. We're gonna step aside for another quick break. When we come back, third period action here 
and this North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship. Canton Acro Jets lead the Team Ohio by a score of one to nothing. We're back after this. You hear it all the time. Why Youngstown State University? Here's why. Because when it comes to engineering, medicine, sports, business, and the skills you need to take your place in the world, we take a backseat to nobody. Because we're the kind of people who look out for each other. Because we care about you, your success, and our future together. We are Youngstown State University, and now you know why. Okay, here are five important reasons why your son or daughter should play a high school sport. Number one. High school sports teach valuable life lessons like self-discipline, sportsmanship, and time management skills. Two. Teens who play a high school sport have better grade point averages and fewer disciplinary problems. Number three. High school sports help fight teen obesity and substance abuse. Here's number four. High school sports provide wholesome, constructive after-school activity, perfect for today's families. And number five. And high school sports are safer than ever before. Injury surveillance and research, better equipment, and the continuing education programs for coaches provided by state and national athletic associations have made high school sports safer than ever before. This message presented by the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Pennsylvania State Athletic Directors Association. Back at the Brunswick Auto Mart Arena in Strongsville, Ohio. Third period action coming up here. Canton Akron Jets and Team Ohio going at it for the first North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship. Of course, we ran down all the scores for you but uh, in, in the world of hockey, but tomorrow, the big one. And it'll be the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs going at it and the Super Bowl. As we have seen some division. And I am told that in our area, and if I'm mistaken, somebody please correct me, I believe that Sports Radio 1240 in Youngstown will have only the game. So you can tune in if you you got to work tomorrow night, which you shouldn't have to. That should be a national holiday. But a lot of, a lot of division there as the San Francisco 49ers are kind of Youngstown-based, but the Kansas City Chiefs have some Youngstown connections as well. So, of course, we're looking forward to that coming up tomorrow night. But we're getting ready to get underway as Ramos and Hunker will take the face off as... Jagels will be in the net to our right, Fred Antonio to our left, and McCarthy working his way around the circle, trying to find an option, trying to get around Hunka, but he'll send it out to the boards. And it'll be Ramos trying to pick it up. Black will step in the way, and Nikolov will end up with the puck. Black now setting it across ice to Tyler Benson. Benson going to kind of work it off the boards. He'll try to send it across to Hunka through the slot. Hunka going to get it with the backhand, and it's going to be stopped by Jagels. Puck now down into the corner to the right of Jagels. And it'll be sent out by Urban. Urban sending it out to Cantini. Cantini. Trying to take a shot around Nikolov. Going to go off the chest of Fred Antonio. Fred Antonio going to stop the rebound shot as well. Brandon Fred Antonio. Having what many would call an outstanding year for the young man out of Perry. So Dahman. And Edwards to take the face off to the left of Fred Antonio. Weaver, Rose, and Dahman out there now for the Jets. Barbieri as well out there. Puck loose against the boards. Ben Rose trying to step in. He'll trip over the skate of Crescent. Puck loose now into the neutral zone. And it'll be Mahalik that's going to send this one down in the corner. But Barbieri going to step and chip this one in the neutral zone. It'll... End up back on the stick of Mahalik, and he'll send it across late. Try to get it to Edwards. Edwards trying to work around Hannaberg, and the puck will come loose. It'll be wide. Frank down in the corner with the puck now battling against Hannaberg to the left of Fred Antonio. 15-50 left here in this championship game. Ben Rose working across, the, working along the boards. Tried to back pass it over to Dahman. Dahman had a little bit of trouble, but he'll recover, and he'll try to chip it forward. But Crescent now with the puck now. It's going to be Weaver. And Dahman with the puck. And Dahman going to work around. Jagels for the CAK goal, 15-34 of the third period. 
And CAK takes a 2 nothing lead. And apparently the 9th air, airlift wing has just flown over. <laughs> so bring Dahman. At 126 of the third period. Put CEK up by a score of two to nothing. Chance now with the puck. He'll battle Weaver behind the net of Jagels. Emerling now trying to send this one cross back. He's trying to get over to Rosala. Rosala now in his defensive zone. Pressured by Zurakowski. He'll send it over to Jadlos. Jadlos going to send this one down here to be Fran Antonio. He's going to stop it. Max Campbell working along the boards, but nothing but white jerseys there. However, Zurakowski stepping in past mid. He's going to take the shot, and it's going to wide of the cage. Gage Weaver stepping in, trying to work around the boards, but Ben Shant's going to step in. He and Ramos going to battle for the puck to the left of Jagels. 14-44 left on a running clock. Here's Cantini. He tried to pick up the pass, but couldn't get to it. Gage Weaver going to send this one down along the glass. Behind the net, and it'll be Shantz that'll pick it up. Craven now on the ice. He'll step into pressure Shantz. Chance to try to get out to Cantini. And Campbell will pick it up in the neutral zone for the Jets. He'll send it across the ice, but Urban will end up with it. Urban trying to work through the circles, but it's going to be four on one. No way he was going to get through that traffic. Is Craven now going to work it around the net of Fred Antonio. Will Craven look for an option. Going to send along the glass. And it's going to be icing coming up against CAK. The Jets going to go for a change. 14-12. Left here in the third period. CAK with a two to nothing lead. I'll drop this one to the left of Fran Antonio. We have Bazaroff. Bazaroff now going to win this one. He'll get it out to CP. CP at the boards battling Epich. But Frank will have to take it back out to the neutral zone. And get it out to Crescent. Crescent working it down to Edward. Edwards trying to work around Bazaroff. Bazaroff going to snag that one, but Edwards going to re rebound, and he'll get it back, take a shot on net. Brad Antonio will make the pad save. Second shot as the puck now will sail down to the netminder. Crescent now with the puck, sending it along the boards. He'll get it out to McCarthy. McCarthy trying to work it back here. CP now with the puck, but he'll lose it. As McCarthy work it back up the near boards, he'll try to get past Austin Lute. Lute stepping in the way. Sean going to knock that one away. Nikolov now from down in the far corner. He'll send it across the ice, but McCarthy will pick it up from the top of the circle. Try to feed it through the slot. Nobody there. And now Team Ohio will reset as Mahalik now will just chip this one down there. Have a couple of changes for Team Ohio. Puck now into the slot. Tried to get it to Edwards. Edwards couldn't get all of it. And it's going to stay loose as... A lot of blue jerseys were there to save that one. And icing coming up against the Canton Akron Jets. They'll go for a change. 12.59 left here in this third period. 2-0 is the CAK score. Dave Mark said that he, he's reporting he thought the Jets landed in his living room the way he was listening to it. Mission accomplished, Dave said. No problem. So face off to the right of Fred Antonio. It'll be Hoffman. And CP. Rosala now kicking it back down in the corner to Hoffman, but Barbieri going to step in there, tried to get it out to Benson. Benson couldn't handle it. And Mahalik now going to send this one back to the boards. Black now working it from the far board, center across the ice to Tyler Benson. Benson, he's going to be one on one with Chance. Got it. He has, excuse me, had Hunka in the slot. Couldn't get it to him in time. Hunka going to take a shot from Mahalik, but he'll recover quickly. Puck back around the net of Jagels. He'll send it back out down to the neutral zone. Barbieri tried to get it back into the zone, but Cantini will step in. Cantini working hard through the circles to the left of Fran Antonio, but all for naught as this one will work off the glass as Shantz will send it back down there. It'll be Cantini who's going to pick it up in the slot. Couldn't get a shot off. And... Tyler Hunka going to send this one into the CAK bench as a souvenir. 12.03 left here, third period. CAK up by a score of two to nothing. Face off will take.
place right to the right of Fred Antonio. As Urban now will have it. McCarthy trying to get it back to Urban at the point. Urban now sent it down on the boards. Behind the net of Fred Antonio. Max Campbell going to step in, try to get it out to Ben Rose. Rose try to send it across ice, but it's going to be intercepted. And puck knocked away on the shot. Short shot by Kyle Urban, but Fred Antonio going to save that one. Urban now by the red line, dropping it to McCarthy. McCarthy working it down the boards. Max Campbell will send the puck into the neutral zone. Try to get Ben Rose, and he'll try to get past Jadlos. Ben Rose taking a shot now, just getting it down into the corner. That's Campbell. Try to take a shot, but it's going to go off the leg of a Team Ohio player. And Campbell sending this back. Excuse me, that'll be Nikolov now on the ice, taking a shot on net, and Jadlos will... Excuse me, Jagels will lock that one down for Team Ohio. 11-17 left here, third period. Team Ohio ranked number two in the USA Hockey Rankings for Ohio, number 12 in the state of Ohio overall. As Urkowski will take the face off against Edwards. It'll be Craven and Gage Weaver out for the Jets. Puck loose now as Weaver trying to keep it in the zone. He'll knock it back to Crescent. Crescent will get it to Epich and it'll end up in the neutral zone. Edwards now with the puck. Epich trying to work it forward, but Barbieri going to push this one forward for the Jets. Hanover going to take the shot. It's going to go off the boot of Mahalik, and Mahalik will send this one all the way back down, and we'll see if this will be icing, and indeed it will be. 10.50 left here, third period. Jets with a 2-0 lead. Craven, Weaver, and Zurichowski out. Barbieri and Hanneberg defensively. Face off to the right of Jagels. Officials doing some house cleaning there, getting everybody out of the circle. Zorkowski got a shot off from the face off. Craven trying to get to the rebound, but Mahalik wasn't going to give him the lane. 10 48. Third period here in a close one. 2 0. Only two goals to speak of. Not much of a scoring recap there, Jerry. Not much to talk about. Puck loose now as Zorkowski will try to work this one down in. And it'll be chipped back down into the neutral zone. Hanneberg going to send this D to D over to Barbieri. Barbieri from behind the blue line. Try to get out, but it's going to send up on a stick of Hoffman. Zorkowski going to step in as well as Barbieri and disrupt that. Craven on the ice now. And it'll be Hanneberg trying to drop pass it to Craven. Craven couldn't get there in time. Barbieri working along the boards. It'll be Zurichowski working it into the zone. Taking the shot. We're going to have a whistle off sides coming up. Against the Jets. 10-16 left here, third period. Austin Lute and Max Bazaroff. The two seniors on this team in their last few weeks here with the Canton Akron Jets. Bazaroff taking the face off against Rosala just outside the zone. Puck loose. Seepy now. Working along the boards. You know, try to get past Chance. Chance working him around the kick plate. Puck will come loose, and Rosala will step in as well. And CP's going to go down there. Took a shoulder shot. And CP not getting up so fast here. We'll give him a moment here as coaching staff will come out and check on him, as well as Captain Austin Lute. Rossi nicely. Thought it was a shoulder shot, but I just seen him throw both arms above his head, so that's a good sign. And CP now make it back to his skates. Kyle Urban trying to walk out. Uh, Coach Sean Houston there <laughs> trying to help him along the ice, but CP up on his own accord will head back to the bench. A little bit, a little bit of discomfort, but Connor CP not a. Small junior there, so he'll, he'll bounce back, I'm sure. 10.04 left here, third period. They'll drop this one just outside the Jets offensive zone. It'll be Rosala and Hunka. Benson and Black out as well. Urban almost with the puck, to, almost had an opportunity to take it down, couldn't control the puck. And Nikolov now from the behind the net of Fran Antonio will send this up to Benson. Benson couldn't handle it. Urban stepped in. Puck loose, and it'll be on the stick of Hunka now. He'll... Send it down behind the net of Jagels. No icing coming up here. 9.46 left here, third period. CAK with a two to nothing lead. Scoring coming by way of a Hanneberg and Dahman goal. Urban now going to back pass this one behind 
the red line is Nikolov. We'll pick this one up, try to work down the boards. He'll try to work past Rosala. And Benson will help him out with it. Nikolov taking the shot. And it's going to jump the pad of Jiggles, but it'll go over the net. Angel Nikolov, 6'5", sophomore. Right there. As McCarthy now trying to work down the far boards. He'll, Rosala will pick it up for him. Nikolov now again. Will reset behind the line. He'll have Urban in front of him. He'll send it over to Emerling to the near boards. Emerling trying to get it out to Black. Black sending it across to Benson. Benson one-on-one -on -one with McCarthy. Edwards now stepping in. As Benson will take the shot. It's going to go off the right side of Jagels. Puck now through the neutral zone. That's going to be wide, Frank. Frank going to chip this one down behind the red line. Gavin Emerling going to send it back to Black. Black going to battle in the corner. Ray Epich in there for Team Ohio. Black now from behind the net of Fred Antonio. He'll back pass it over to Hunka. Hunka back to Black. Black now working around the near boards. McCrescent going to step in and send this one all the way back beyond the goal line. Puck now up the near boards. It'll be McCarthy. McCarthy going to lose the puck as Emerling steps in and knocks that one away. Hunka almost tripped up, but was able to work his way over that. Hunka now trying to work past Edwards. Edwards through the... Tried to steal the puck there, but Hunka through the neutral zone. Going to take the shot. A little bit of a weird angle shot there, but he and Lucci Cantini will go down on the ice. They'll bounce right back up. 8.04 left here. Third period. Change for both teams coming up. C.A.K. on the ice time. this time. It'll be Gavin Weaver, Breen Dahlman, and Ben Rose. Puck now loose in the slot. It'll be Hoffman with the puck working up the boards. Can't get past the blue jerseys, but it'll work it forward all the way to Cantini. Cantini down the boards into the corner. Excuse me, that'll be Lucci Cantini. From the point, shot by Team Ohio. That's going to go wide of the cage. Hoffman now with the puck, and we're going to have a penalty coming up. Couldn't quite see what the call was. It was right into the boards in front of us, but uh, CAK going back to the power play. 7.41 left here, third period. Lucci Cantini heading to the sin bin for Team Ohio. That'll be Hunka, Dahman, Black, Barbieri, and Hannaberg for the Jets. Vito Cantini taking the face off to the left of Jagels. Buck loose down on the corner. Rosala tried to pick it up, but Barbieri will secure it and lose it to McCarthy. McCarthy going to send this up into the net. And we'll reset this one. 7.35 left here, third period. 1.54 left on the power play for the Jets. 7.35 left in the game. They'll drop this one to the right of Jagels. It'll be Dahman and Cantini again. First power play team out for the Jets. Black stepping into the corner. Rosala going to send this one out of the zone. It's going to be a slow one, but Urban tried to step in. And now Cantini going to pick it up, and they're trying to get a shorthand of goal, but it's going to go wide of the cage. Rosala going to stop this one in the neutral zone again. He's going to be hemmed up by two blue jerseys. Puck's going to come loose. and Hunka going to drop this one to Barbieri. On the near boards, Dahman now stepping in there. Puck loose. Black with it. Got a Rosala in front of him. Going to work around him. Black with the shot. And it's going to be saved by Jagels. Puck still loose here, but we're going to get a whistle. 6.59 of the third period. Lucas Black with the opportunity. Hunka trying for the rebound. Couldn't get to it. That'll leave us 119 left on the... Power play for the Canton Akron Jets. 6.59 left in this game. Again, the inaugural North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division Championship. Dominant take the face off against Edwards to the left of Jagels. Puck down in the corner. And they'll just send this one all the way down ice. Ben Shantz. Clearing it for Team Ohio. Bazaroff now trying to work to the neutral zone with the puck. He'll lose it, but it'll be picked up by Barbieri. Barbieri and Bazaroff, two on two. But Barbieri, nowhere to go. He'll send this down to Bazaroff down in the corner. Max looking for somebody. Going to take the shot. 
And it's going to go high over the cage back to Barbieri. Jack Barbieri. Send it back out to Hunka at the, at the blue line. He'll send it back to Barbieri. Taking the shot is Jack. Barbieri and then a rebound shot. And no score. Bezeroff said it went in. Officials say no. Play continues here as Dahman will battle down in the corner. He'll battle against Mahalik. Puck loose down against the boards as Hunka will be the nearest one to it. Hunka work, walking the blue line, going to step into the circle. Yeah, down at the bottom of the circle now, working around Bazarov. Tries to get to the slot, gets it to Barbieri. Jagel stops that one. Puck still loose, and we'll have a whistle as Mahalik will give Bazarov a little bit of a shove. Max Bazarov. Thought he had a goal earlier. Breen Dahman, I believe, was just pushed down, but he's going to bounce right back up. Breen not, Breen, Breen not going to draw the penalty on that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure there wasn't a little bit of acting on that one. But uh, nonetheless, good no call by the officials. <laughs> They'll drop this one to the left of Jagels. 5.52 left in the game here. 12 seconds left on the power play. It'll be Dominic Cantini for the draw. And Cooper McCarthy now trying to take it down in near boards, but Hannaberg going to step in and disrupt him. Puck's still loose. He'll send it down to Hunka. Hunka setting up between the circles in front of Fred Antonio. And Team Ohio will clear that penalty. We're back to 5-on-5. Five five. Hunka now trying to work down the boards. He'll take a spill. Hanneberg working around Cantini, Lucci Cantini. And Hunka will palm this one down, but Urban will end up with it. He'll take his time as Max Bazarov provides some pressure at the blue line. Hunka stepping in, trying to loose the puck. McCarthy will send this over to Cantini. Cantini from the corner, from the circle left of Fred Antonio. Takes a shot. And Bazarov will send this one along the boards. T Mile will end up with it, but it'll end up back in the slot. And Bazarov will feed this over to Hunka. Dahman. Chipping this one down behind the goal line behind Jagels. Five minutes left here. In this contest, Puck now slowly working its way through the neutral zone. Dahman now with Hunka right at mid-ice. Tyson looking across the ice. Nobody there. Just going to chip it over to the wall. Was hoping that Zurichowski was going to be able to step in, but Craven will step in and get it to Kale Zurichowski. Zurichowski going to take the shot, but it's going to go off the boot of a Team Ohio member. Puck loose now in the neutral zone. As Austin Lute going to send this one down behind the goal line. Craven and Zurkowski heading for it. And we're going to have a whistle. And it came from the backside of the play. I'm not sure if anybody has an idea. Let me know. Okay, so 427 left here. And they're going to, okay, they're going to drop this one just outside the Jets' offensive zone. It'll be Craven and Rosala, former Cleveland Lumberjack teammates. As Edwards now will end up with the puck, he'll take it into the offensive zone. He's going to take a, an opportunity to try to get over to Rosala in the slot. They were side by side, but couldn't get it off. Edwards going to take a spill on his own. Puck going to come loose. Edwards getting up a little bit slow. Hopefully nothing too serious there. Took a little bit of a hard spill. As Gavin Weaver now will try to set this one up. He'll send a D to D to Austin Luke. Luke going to send it up the boards past Craven and, and past the goal line. Icing coming up against the Canton Akron Jets. Craven trying to argue something there, trying to pull a little political maneuver there. Didn't work for him. So we'll head back down the other end of the ice. Four minutes left here as the Canton Akron Jets have a 2 0 lead. Hanneberg and Dahman. Provide goals for the Jets. Puck loose now as Campbell sends this one along the boards. It'll get trapped down in the corner. Ramos reaching in for it for Timo. Ohio. We won't be able to get it. And Crescent will chase this one down. He'll have Mahalik with him as well. Crescent now going to send this one off the board. Try to get it to Ramos. Ramos going to get to it. CP going to step back in. He was shaking up earlier, but back on the ice. Campbell now sending it across ice. Try to get it to Rossi nicely. He couldn't handle it. And it's going to be knocked away by Cantini. Mahalik will send this over to the boards. CP now with the puck. Nowhere for him to go. He's going to take another shot into the boards. Ramos is going to separate him from the puck. And a shot from the point, but it's going to go off a Team Ohio player. Shot by Emerling. And Hoffman will be content to send this one down behind the net of Fred Antonio. Emerling going to send this back out to Rossi nicely, but he won't be able to handle it. 
Puck still loose. There's Max Campbell now. We'll take it down the boards. He's going to have Bazarov to the left of him. Rossi nicely behind him. Going to take the shot, but it's going to go off Shantz. Go wide of the cage. Puck loose. Another shot on goal. From Gavin Emerling. Jagel's going to shut that one down as well. 2.55. Left here. Third period action. Jets with a 2-0 lead. Rosala and Hunka to take the face off to the right of Jagels. Puck loose now is Rosala. Will try to work around Lucas Black. Black going to send this one down the boards and send it back out to Shantz. Shantz trying to send it forward to Cantini. He'll run into Barbieri. And Rosala will step in to pick that one up. But Black will back check him and try to send it up the boards. But couldn't get it to go. Couldn't get it past Urban. Black now sending this one all the way up to Tyler Benson. Benson going to send this one down behind. The Team Ohio netminder. Buck now forward. He'll send it out into the neutral zone. Barbieri will have to wait for Benson to clear the zone. Chance now with the puck. He'll send it out to the boards. Try to hit Jadlos with it, but Jadlos couldn't get there. Chance again from behind the bench. Excuse me, from behind the net. We'll send it up. Edwards tried to palm it down, but it's going to go right between his legs. Barbieri going to send it forward to Hunka. Hunka. Into the Jets' offensive zone, but Jadalos now going to circle back around as he picked up the puck. Edwards going to step into the boards. we will have McCarthy to his left. Edwards trying to find some room to shoot it, but Jack Barbier going to step in, knock it loose, and Wyatt Frank going to chip it towards the boards. McCarthy and Benson battling for it as the puck comes loose into the neutral zone. McCarthy going to send it over to Cressa. Cressa, excuse me. Black now, gonna knock McCarthy off the puck, puck loose as they battle forward to the left of Fred Antonio. Puck in the circle to the left of Fred as a wide Frank battles for it. He'll set into the slot, he'll be shot on goal by McCarthy. Fred Antonio with the save, Black now. He and Benson, would have been a two on one if they would've, could've gotten to move a little faster, tried to get it to Benson, he couldn't reach for it. Benson gonna drop past it behind the goal as McCarthy gonna pick it up behind, Jad or excuse me, Jagels. And the puck gonna send into the neutral zone. And Hannibal going to take a shot from behind. No call. Puck still loose here. 52 seconds left. As a shot on goal from the offensive zone is from Lucas Black. 45 seconds away. As McCarthy will send this one across ice. He'll send over to Cantini. Cantini trying to get it to Ramos. Ramos will chase this down into the corner. You know what? Barbieri there to knock him off the puck. Benson now with it. 33 seconds left here in the game. Jets with a 2 0 lead. Ben Rose tried to get over to Hunka. Hunka moved against the boards, and when Rose turned around, Hunka was gone. But it'll be Mahalik now with the puck down the boards as Hunka now will send his run right back with 15 seconds left. And Gavin Weaver on the ice there. Going to spill, take a spill, but there's only seven seconds left in this game. Five, four, three, two, and one, and the Canton Akron Jets get the 2 nothing win over Team Ohio. They are the inaugural North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division champions for 2023-2024. And a celebration on there is Brandon Frat Antonio, the junior out of Perry, Ohio, gets the shutout. And Canton Akron gets the 2 nothing win as well as the trophy. We're going to step aside for a quick timeout. We come back, give you a scoring recap, and we'll set you up for the rest of the week right here on Western Reserve Radio, part of the iMedia One Network. The Mahoning Valley's leader for golf, Milk Creek Golf Course, is now booking tee times for 2024. We offer stay and play opportunities available with nine area hotel partners. For more information, visit our website at millcreekmetroparks.org. Also, look for new exciting opportunities coming soon, including an indoor player development center with Trackman, an indoor Callaway club fitting center, and an Odyssey fitting studio in 2024. Follow us on Facebook at Milk Creek Golf Course or call 330-740-7112. You hear it all the time. Why Youngstown State University? Here's why. Because when it comes to engineering, medicine, sports, business, and the skills you need to take your place in the world, we take a backseat to nobody. Because we're the kind of people who look out for each other. Because we care about you, your success, and our future together. We are Youngstown State University. Passion. Talent. 
development. NCAA hockey offers all that and its players graduate at a 90% rate. Joe Pavelski. Backhand scores! Wow, what a goal! Johnny Gaudreau. Score! And Tori Krupp were stars on campus before the NHL stage. Whether you are a fan or a player, nothing compares to college hockey. HockeyInc.com and follow at College Hockey. And a trophy presentation to the Canton Akron Jets as they are the inaugural North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division champions. And the second win over Team Ohio as Captain Austin Lute receives the trophy. And of course, you got to have your netminder in there who gets the shutout today, Brandon Frat Antonio, as we'll start to take some pictures and a uh, little bit of celebration here on Saturday night. Take a look at the scoring recap here. Robert Hannaberg, he would get the scoring going at 12.47 of the first period. That will put the Canton Akron Jets up by a score of one to nothing. It would be, there would be no scoring in the second period. Third period action, it would be Breen Dahman, the sophomore out of Ursuline High School in Youngstown. He puts one in the back of the net with, excuse me, that came at 126 of the third period, and that would be it. As goals would come at a premium tonight, and the Canton Akron Jets, they will get out of here tonight with a two to nothing win over Team Ohio as well as the North Coast High School Hockey League Travel Division. I want to encourage you to tune in this week as uh, Wednesday coming up. We will have Dump and Chase on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Of course, you, you want to listen in to get all your inside type information on the Youngstown Phantoms, maybe laugh a little bit and have a good time. And then right after that, over on City View Sportscast, it's Just Football with Matt Emsch. I'm sure he'll have plenty to talk about when it comes to tomorrow's Super Bowl matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you tune in to all our social media. We'll give you an update on where the Canton Akron Jets will be in two weeks as far as the schedule. See if we'll be able to bring you some of those games. And, of course, the Youngstown Phantoms will be back in town February 23rd and 24th. Plenty of great tickets still available. Call 330-747-PUCK. 330-747-7825. For the one and only FFID, Dave Ferris. For Jerry and Shandy Lude, I'm Jim Craven. Thanks for joining us tonight here for North Coast Hockey League action. Again, the Canton Akron Jets. They win the first ever travel division champions for the year of 2023-2024. Congratulations to them. And we hope to see you all back here next time for Canton Akron Jets Hockey. Have a great night, everybody. We thank you for joining us for this special presentation of the iMedia One Network, and we now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.